If you've purchased the Creality Under 3 version 2 Neo, um, one of the attractive upgrades that it had was on this display right here, when you go to print, it will show you a print preview. And that's not the print preview um, for that file. Um, it's just the little Creality Superhero Man they have there. And that's what it defaults to if you haven't sliced it the proper way to get it on there. So I thought I would make this video just to show you how to do this. I had a comment in one of my videos um, mentioning that I didn't have the proper preview up there. And he actually informed me that I was using the wrong slicer and the wrong way. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So first I'm going to take out my um, micro SD from my printer and then I'm going to install it in my USB reader and, and throw it into my computer. What you're going to have to do is download the Creality slicer. So if you haven't done that yet, you're going to have to um, get yourself the Creality slicer. The Cura slicer isn't able to do this preview. So um, there it is. The Creality Slicer is, um, I don't know whether it's, if I should be saying it, but it is pretty much the identical thing as Cura. It's always just a few versions behind. Um, the Cura Slicer ends up being the Creality one if you just wait a little bit longer. So it might be behind on some features, but it's still all here. So I'm gonna go to File. I'm going to open a file and I'm going to print this uh, spell book cover here that I was going to do. It's a fairly large print or whatever for my Ender 3, but we're going to give it a try without any raft or anything. We're going to lay it right on the, the build plate. But um, when I go up over here and I select everything the way I want it, I want some... Uh, generate some support for these hinges and such, but only touching the build plate. I don't want to support other things. I've gone through the speed and uh, adhesion. I don't want to have um, anything. And after I'm done slicing it the way that I want, I'm going to come down here to slice, like what you normally would do. And when I click on slice, it's going to create the G code for my printer. Just just like any other one would, but you can preview it and you can um, save to file, save to removable, but you're gonna save as Creality Format. That's the one that you're gonna select. When you save as Creality Format, it's gonna give you um, that preview that you want, okay? So I'm gonna save my spellbook as spellbook as a G code, of course, and I will save that. Now I can just go ahead and eject my USB, bring it over to my printer, and insert it into the printer. I've already done automatic leveling here, so if you go to print, and the one that I called Spellbook, you're going to actually see the print preview of what you have selected. So if you was wondering how to get your, um, your print to come up under the print preview, that's how you got to do it. You got to go ahead and grab the Creality Slicer and save as Creality Format. I do uh, appreciate the feedback that I got on one of my videos. So it prompted me to think, well, I wonder if other people are having the exact same issue. So I thought I would share that with you. This is ready to print. It won't really change anything like that. I do really like the Cura slicer, but I'm gonna give the Creality one a try and keep saving in that format. Um, and that little print preview is kind of nice if I had a lot of things on my stick and just want to make sure that I'm printing right thing if I got uh, mixed up with uh, file names or whatever. Hopefully you find this video informative.